Um, I have the camera a little close today because with this skill, this standard, we, hang on, here I am. Um, we, I had to make the font a little bit smaller in order to get everything on one page. So, the font's going to be a little bit small today. It's cool though. Click on the link below. Download the complete guide to how to pass the math FSA third grade. And um, you'll be able to work these problems out right there with me. So this is the best I got right now. So if you don't see my face today, sorry. I know. I'm here. All right. So we've got maths.3.md.2.3, which is representing and interpreting data. Okay. So this is example one. Let me teach you. Ariana surveys her class mates about their favorite subject in school as shown in the table. This table right here, okay? It says favorite subjects in school. Reading, four people picked that. Math, nine people picked that. Science, two people picked that. And social studies, three people picked that. I wish we got to teach social studies more, so fun. All right, two-parter. Part A, draw bars on the bar graph to represent the data from the table, and part B, how many more, which means I'm going to subtract, students prefer math than science. So this is a grid response and an, an equation editor. So here we go. Draw bars on the bar graph to represent the data from the table. So we have our subjects down here and the number of classmates here, and I'm counting by twos, but I do have each individual tick there for me. So, reading is four. So here's four. There are little lines, but it's kind of hard to see. There we go. Math is nine. So here is eight, and there's ten. So nine would be in the middle. Excuse my big old head for a minute. All right. There's math. In between the eight and the nine. Perfectly in the middle. Science would be two. So here's my two. And then social studies is three, which is a notch above the two, but not quite in the four. So here's my four, here's my two, and it's right there in the middle. Okay, so I did part A. Part B, how many more students prefer math than science? How many more means that I subtract. So math, how many students prefer math? Nine. How many students prefer science? Two, so nine minus two equals seven students. None of my work to solve the problem goes inside of the box, only the answer. But you know that. Okay, example two. Dwan, what's up Dwan? Dwan surveys other students about their favorite games as shown in the table. Dwan is my mentee and uh, we play games together all the time, especially Connect Four. So, just giving you a little bit of extra inside information. All right, so again, a two-parter. Part A, bold the X's in each row to create a pictograph that represents, this is where my pictograph is, the data. And part B, how many fewer, that's subtraction, students prefer sorry compared to Mancala. All right, so he surveys the people with their favorite games. One person likes checkers, five people like Connect Four, Six people like Mancala, and four people like Sari. So, over here in my pictograph, I have to replicate that data, but using a pictograph to do so. Pictographs. The most important thing that you need to remember about pictographs is that they have a key. Everybody say, what up, key? Good. All right. The key, which tells you what each picture represents. So for this one, each X is going to be two students. So for checkers, I only have one student. So I can't shade in the whole X or bold the whole X because that will be two students. So instead, I need to do just one. Half of the X, a little part of it. I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, another way that you could do it, so if this were the X, I bet you could do it like this, or just one slash through would be cool, but not two. Connect four is five people, so we have two, four, plus one is five. 
Mancala is six, so two, four, six people like Mancala. And sorry, four people like it, so two, four people like it. How many fewer students prefer sorry, which is four, compared to Mancala, which is six? So I'm not doing four minus six. I'm trying to see how many fewer this one is. So six minus four, which equals two students. That's how you do it. Okay, example three. We just have one more after this, just four for today. Um, Elijah. Hi, Elijah. I heart you. Elijah's my other mentee. This kid's going places. Look out for him. Um, Elijah, Elijah surveys his classmates about their favorite fruit, as shown in the bar graph below. So here's their favorite fruit. We've got in between two and four, which is three people like apples. We've got five people who like bananas because it's in between four and five. We have one person who likes kiwi. That's probably me. I love kiwi. And four people like strawberries. And eight students like watermelon. So I'm going to use this bar graph to complete this table over here. So I'm just going to plug it in. How many people like apples? Three. How many people like bananas? Five. One person likes kiwi, four people like strawberries, and eight people like watermelon. That is all you have to do. Wait, we're not done with example three yet because example four says how many more than means you subtract. How many more students prefer banana than apple in example three? So how many people like banana? Five. How many people like apple? Three. And now we subtract them because it says how many more, which would be two. Now I'm done. Inspiration time. Here we go. Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than any obstacle. This is by Christian D. Larson. Believe in you. Sometimes you're the only one in the world who's going to believe in you. But just remember that there is something inside of you that is greater than all these obstacles in your life. So overcome them. And I'll see you next time.